Welcome back to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Now it's time for your weekend tech tip, brought to you by Chevy Silverado. Welcome back, everyone. Joined here by Mr. Bill Herzog with our Chevy Silverado Tech Tip of the Week. Now, jigs, right? Now, listen, mm. there's so many things that we use to catch steelhead these days. And back in the day, jigs weren't one of them. Uh, when they first came out, a lot of people were like, why do you use a crappie bait? <laughs> Laughing just like that as the guy that was fishing with them, bloop, got one, bloop, got one, bloop, got one. And since then, jigs are at the forefront of what people will target steelhead with for very, very good reason. But there's different things that you can do and different ways you can set them up to maybe be different or just for that matter, more effective. And mm -hmm. you've got a good one. I don't know if yeah. we've actually shown anything like this yet or not. But we're going to utilize our new Kershaw Tech Cam. Yeah. And uh, what, uh, well, hmm. Well, we, we've all fished with jigs. Yes, right? we, we have. We know how well the jigs work. All and, the, and what you've got there is a, a quarter ounce maxi jig. Maxi jig. It's just bigger so you can see it better. Okay. Well, but I like the, tw the quarter ounce. Oh, me, me, me too with the bigger hook because big steelhead. Sure. Like well, fruit, okay? <laughs> we're also going to show you something else here in a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at the size of this particular one. That's mm -hmm. a two-aught hook or a three-aught hook? That's eh, a three-aught. Oh, my God. With a size six spinnacle, one of his mm -hmm. favorite steelhead baits, but that's a whole other discussion. No, well, no, sir. Now, okay, so you're talking about a jig. A jig, you've got, right? you got some pink worms here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so well, your tech tip is what? Okay, we're, we're going to marry these. Okay. All right, years ago, back on my fish to Salduck, way back when, the guys mm -hmm. came down from Canada and showed us the pink worms. Sure. And I, I would, I would, we'd always thread them and put the weights on them so they'd hang upside down and do all this stuff. Yes. So I, I got lazy one night. Mm -hmm. Might have had a couple too many wobbly pops. I don't know, you know? <laughs> Wobblies, But yep. I thought, what if I take this jig that I've been using and I stick the worm on? Well, the whole worm's too big, so I sure. kind of cut it off. Until I got about what about let's say like three and a half four yeah. inches long. You yeah. can go bigger with for bigger fish, but sure. just showing this for sure. But I just looked at it. I go, I wonder if that'll fit on the back of this jig. Mm -hmm. So I stuck. I kind of worked it on there like so, and pushed. And as I pushed it up, oh, look what it does to the marabou. It just it, it does. It makes it the marabou. Come alive, the yeah. marabou pushes up, and what that does when that gets in the water now. The marabou by itself always mm -hmm. used to have a pulse to it, sure. but now that you've opened it up like that mm -hmm. to the current, holy cow, this thing right. between the worm wobbling and that pulsating of the marabou, mm -hmm. like that, is the most dynamite combination. I, it, oh it, my it, it's goodness. It's cool looking. It is, and the you steelhead know. thinks so too. Well, I mean, you can see there's a couple different ways. He's got mm -hmm. uh, different sizes. Of course, you got the eighth ounce jig, which mm -hmm. is more popular, mm -hmm. I guess, for, for a lot of people. But sure, low, you can use water. any type of, of worm that you want, cut mm -hmm. it down a little bit, put sure. it on the jig, and you got yourself a little bit different profile, something maybe that the yeah. fish haven't seen. Well, everybody fishes worms on jig heads now, right? They do, correct. Add the attraction of a couple of beads mm -hmm. and, uh, and the marabou pulsing sure, like that, sure. now you've got a good lure into an excellent one right. and nobody else is doing it. Right. Very interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Certainly something to take into consideration. And so if you are a person that loves to spend time uh, with the bobber and jig, uh, give it a try. Just another way that you can change things up. And listen, I, mean, I know people and I'm sure that you do as well, mm -hmm. uh, that that's all they take to the river. Uh, and they're going to go and they're going to fish the spots that is that are conducive to fishing with a bobber and jig because you can't fish an entire river in most cases with a bobber and jig because mm -hmm. you don't have the right water, right? There's spots that you simply can't use them. That's mm -hmm. a different discussion for a different day. Right. Um, but if you wanted to change things up with all those other folks that are fishing that bobber and jig, that's a great way to do it. So a pink worm mm -hmm. slid onto a maxi jig, right. eighth ounce, quarter ounce, just make that thing look a little bit different, right? One more little tiny tip. Go for it, yeah. Now this, for uh, a lot of waters we fish now, artificial lure, no scent, right? Correct. That's how you gotta fish it. But if you can, mm -hmm. the rooster tail scent spray Absolutely. does not gunk up the marabou. Right. And anise krill, anything that smells good, sure. give that a shot mm -hmm. and it'll enhance that 500%. So get yourself some rooster tail spray. It doesn't gunk up the marabou. Um. It's actually, it's really turned on. And uh, every time somebody says about the rooster tail, because it is, it's a Procure product that they worked on together to mm -hmm, make sure mm -hmm. that the, the water solubility and everything was what they wanted to have. Uh, and it's extremely popular now. You know, for, my favorite is the trophy trout. Trophy trout, why? It's got anise in it. it. You name it, it's in there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's, the, you smell it, it's anise, it's krill, it's mm -hmm. shrimp, it's, I don't know and okay. what else is in there, but that, sure. the trophy trout, I use it for everything. everything. Yeah, so the trophy trout, I, I spray it on my plugs oh. for steelhead. Okay, yeah, they, sure, sure, they sure. And they love it. 
All right, there mm -hmm. you go. There's another tech tip for you to yeah, utilize yeah. Uh, as well. Now, yeah. when we come back from this break, mm -hmm. I have to show... <laughs> I got to show this, okay? Now, that leader's much longer because I fished it in very clear water. Okay, well, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still not that long of a leader. Mm -hmm. But I think for a lot, m myself mostly, okay, is you're going to look at this way and you're going to go, good God, no, that's just hollow core mm -hmm. on, a, on a piece of wire. We're going to talk about why he really likes that particular setup as a, say, an old just a little piece, a little tiny chunk, uh, or something else uh, that's available these days, but going old school. So not even old school, just different mm -hmm. uh, with an old school weight. How about that? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to have that when we come back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, you're going to stay here? I'll be right here, man. You too. Stay with us on KPDX. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Outdoor GPS is brought to you by Terra Firma Foundation Systems. We keep homes safe, dry, and stable. By Yakima Bait, steeped in tradition, innovation, and fishing success. And by Procure Bait Sense, ruthlessly effective. 